Hello everyone, welcome back to Juno New Origins. We are in version 1.0.2.0 and I'm going to continue my career. We have not made Orbit yet, so we're very early on. We have 66,000 bucks and I'm going to mainly stick to rockets here and we'll save the planes for later and see how that goes in a subsequent attempt probably. And so hopefully we are going to get some more interesting contracts here. Uh, this one is the uh, wheels and wings sort of section, so I'm not going to start that stuff. We'll just focus here. Wet rockets. Launch a new craft. I wonder what happens if I just go to orbit now. Because <laughs> I am I think I might be able to, but... Well, I don't know. We, we I don't know if we have the couplers yet. Um, well, we should check the tech tree. But launch a new craft, start grounded. 30 kilometers above ground level. I mean, we've already done that, really, right? Why is this hard? Polluting oceans is bad. Drop it in any ocean. It doesn't actually have as a requirement that it reaches an ocean, though. Right? I'm confused. Um, I guess the hard part is getting to an ocean. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway. Alright, we'll accept it. It pays a lot. I'm not entirely sure what the difficulty is. Uh, let's see about our tech tree, and we've got 35 points. I think we should, so this is parachute, staging, interstage, that's important for getting to orbit. And care locks would be nice. It's not required, there are solid rocket motor rockets with like four stages and such, so. Uh, maybe they only give you the orbital one after you unlock something like this, so. I think I'll try inner stage and unlock that. But I don't think we need it for this particular one. We just need to go very horizontal. The ocean is rather long, uh, rather far away, so we do have to take that in consideration. I think I might try and increase the size of this. They gave us an advance of 50,000 after all. Well, with four engines we can do more right now. Our starting thrust weight ratio is 3, though. 2.27 on launch. Uh, 1.87 kilometers per second. Was that? That wasn't much of an improvement. Guess we're not going to optimize too much more than that. Without staging. Okay, I think this will be fine. We already had control last time. And we have the opportunity to have many chances, so let's just go. I mean, uh, do we have a map? Oh, we haven't unlocked map view yet. Well, that's something we ought to do. This is a very... This reminds me of the Chinese launch location, uh, in the inland one. Very much so. It's very mountainous. Anyway, okay, uh, it's not reading my throttle again. I don't know what it is with my throttle and uh, Un Unity games in particular. Every other game, it'll read it just fine, but with Unity games, it it doesn't like reading the throttle half the time. It just resets the throttle for me. Okay. Alright. Ignition. Okay, maybe we should have gone north though. I don't know, there's a lot of like, water to you over there. We've exceeded a. Uh, oh, a uh, flight distance of 100 kilometers, yeah. Apoapsis, yeah, 57. Uh, there's, there's a lot of land in this direction though. I need the map view, probably. I can't tell over there whether that's just hazy or whether that's actually water. Could just be non-mountainous, like, grasslands, but I think that's water over there. Over here, I think there's water pretty far in the distance there, but I'm not sure. Yeah, well, we're not getting to water here. And yeah, I think the land extended further than I thought. So, 
Maybe we'll go north instead. Or maybe we should just make orbit and then retrofire in a nice location. Hey, we're getting left a bit. It's going so fast that this is enough to be a lifting body. Just a bit. Exceeding Mach point one. Oh, we're way past Mach point one. But yeah, there's interesting aerodynamics right now. Oh, there you go, Mach point five. They think that these are things that you will do with an airplane, though. <laughs> I think. I don't think they were expect. Ah, oh, there we go, Mach one. Uh, I don't think they were expecting me to do it with uh, cruise missile, but okay. And smack. Oh! Two parts have exploded. Oh, we had a non-explosive situation. Well, this really is like from the Chinese launch site. Now there are bits <laughs> left over. <laughs> Just like it is. Okay, um, let's retry. Uh, I mean, we could uh, launch again. It won't matter too much to our budget. I think I'll just save us some time. Uh, I want to launch north instead. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. So, yep. Let's see, there's just uh, getting our geography here. We know going east is not going to work out. We've got to check whether going north is going to work out. Ah, because we restarted, we didn't get the other records, so we got the 100 kilometers again. So, I don't know if we're going to get the cruise missile one again or not. We're not overshooting the 30 kilometer requirement by too much. So with this rocket, this is probably about as far as we're going to go horizontally. Yeah, maybe that's water. <laughs> I don't, I can't tell. I don't know. Well, the mountains stop there, but this could be still a lot of land. There's gotta be water somewhere, right? It's all hazy. Are we gonna get some decent flight here? It seems like it. Yep, we'll get the flight ones. That's a lot of tech points that we get from those. Yep, all the way with the Mach 1. Uh, that's still looking like land to me now, now that we're get getting closer to it. I don't know if we're going to get to a coast here or not. We, uh, we went horizontal for just long enough to get those records, and now we're going to be going down again as we've lost speed. So, regardless of the retry, we'll have ended up with exactly what we had on the first try. There's a lot of continent around here. Okay. Well, I don't want to retry. I mean, I don't want to retry right now. And flight. Save flight. Save. So that we can get the money and the tech points. Where the heck is the map? That is what I'm wondering. Hmm, are those things that are down here? Touching the sky. Touching air. We've pushed air. New contracts. Fasten your seatbelts. Display orbit lines. Well, that'll be important. Requires mechanical engineers. Well, we've got this. Novice manager. Enable map view. Well, shoot. Unlock. <laughs> yes. Okay, I don't need struts yet. I might as well get Carolox now. That might make things too inter uh, easy. Make things less interesting is what I was trying to say. But, um... We'll get it, and I'll just try not to use it yet. <laughs> okay. So. Right. Let's, uh... Can, oh, there's other things. Going high, that's 80 kilometers. And then going sideways, 100 kilometers. We've already done that. Well, we can accept five jobs simultaneously. Let's try to go high, uh, go far. We'll have to go far anyway. 
we have to crash this one. We have to drop it in the ocean. So we can't do fireworks because that would explode it at a higher altitude. So those three simultaneously should be possible. Right. Now we have a map, but I can't see the map here, can I? Okay, build... Oh, maybe the menu has the map. Tutorial for this contract? Which one? I've got three. <laughs> uh, no, it's fine. It's been fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we are going to see if with this control system we can do two separate stages. And we'll have an interstage. I think the gyro should be able to control it here, so that'll be fine. But since this is going to be our air start stage, I think it'll be okay. And then we have an interstage. It's got, it's got little things sticking out? I don't know. I don't know why it has little things sticking out, but... Okay, that's fine. And another fuel tank. And then we'll have more of the little engines. Though we could scale them up now, but I don't... Uh, we're not doing any of that yet. Okay, let's see about staging. Four engines, then the inner stage and the goblin, the one goblin there. Stage one will be the first stage. That has a decent thrust weight ratio. Two is fine for an SRB. And we got 2,630 total. Well, that'll get pretty high. Now, I still want to see a map, though, but I guess we can only do that in flight. Anyway, we got tons of money to work with here. The bay would make it too easy, but, I mean... Then we could go straight up and straight down, basically. But it's locked anyway, it's locked. I guess it's locked until we hit water or something, maybe. Okay, let's just go with what we've got. I don't know if we can launch from the runway. Um... Leave the atmosphere with a payload. Launch with the payload. There's a payload? Okay, hold on. Why is it 23 minutes in? Sounding rocket payload figuring. That's looking very much like a Juno rocket, actually. Uh, speaking of the game's name, uh, yeah, that's like a Juno rocket. Okay, except the Juno rocket was just one stage here. It's a modified redstone. But... Uh, well, it just says payload, not payload fairing. Okay. Alright, so I guess this is what we need. It didn't cut our Delta V down by very much. So, it's okay. I wonder if we had the launch fee reimbursed or not. Okay, map. Alright. So... We're here. Well, going east wasn't a good idea. Going north, maybe we could have hit this area. Maybe, I guess we probably were going like that or something. What we want to go is northeast. Uh, about a 50-ish degree trajectory might be the best deal. But obviously we would like to launch from these sites here, but they're not unlocked yet. Maybe 60-ish 60 60 -ish degree tra trajectory? All right, well, that being the plan, launch. What's the little X there for? Well, we're pointing at the X. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that, stop, 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 stop. Okay, settle down, little rocket, settle down, settle down, settle down. Um, maybe I need to turn off the... Stop that. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, can you try stabilizing? All right, good job. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, we need other control on this. The gyros aren't good enough. Oh, uh, no, our aerodynamics aren't good. We'll need fins here, too. We're too low when the first stage finishes. 
We should have done the fire, got in the fireworks one, so I could just uh, destroy this. Now, but I guess we'll just destroy it. It's fine. Um, I don't want to retry. Let us save the flight and try separately. Okay, so fins. We need more fins. Hopefully that'll be enough. Let me take a look at the core. Core is gyros. I'm tempted to put RCS, but we have, I don't think we have any, so... Well, I don't see any gimbal options, so I'm gonna assume the answer is no to that. I guess these little uh, finny things are actually the separatrons for the stage. Maybe we'll have a bigger boost. I mean, this first stage did not last as long as I would like. Five. I would rather like one in the middle, though. Okay, so... Stage two is... Fat one. And... We're starting at 1.44 like that. Hmm. Shall we have a Gnome 9? <laughs> Nine little known solid rocket motors? This isn't exactly how solid ro rocket motors work, by the way, but uh, you don't cluster nozzles for them like this. Uh, or should we just increase the size? Halo fairing, okay. So that's stage one, and that's 1.64 sea level. Okay, we now have a grand total of 3,110 meters per second, which is just a little bit shy of what we need for orbit there, and uh, what well, we need to put the fins back on. Now that's a hefty thing. 14,000 now. But we're launching a payload, so... Yeah, we're practically, we're inches away from orbit kind of thing. Not, uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay, so, Neville. Again, 60 degrees is what we're trying for. And launch. Much power. I definitely want to get to space this time. Okay, staging. Okay, map. How are we doing? We're in the direction I wanted to go in. And we're extending. Will we extend enough? That is the question. We also want to get to a hundred kilometers there, so... And it's dying out. Come on, little rocket. You can do it. <laughs> Oh, well, if there isn't too much drag on the way down, that might work out. I don't know if this is as much of a lifting body as the previous. This is a little bit stouter. Okay, we have exceeded 80 kilometers. Well, it's still got gyroness here. Yeah, well... Anyway, the problem was the aerodynamics on the last try. Going 1,500 meters per second here. And... Well, we've passed 100 kilometers going high. Oh, uh, expose the probe. Okay, expose the probe. Um, guys, <laughs> do, we, do I explode it? Actions. That's, those are the actions. I don't know if I should explode the bearing to expose the probe. It didn't expose the probe. <laughs> why why is it not exposed? Well, at least it didn't destroy the whole vessel. Here, uh, I'll just do it manually. 
probably going to be too confused right now to try and orient. Maybe I have to explode the other part, but... Activate this part. Oh, okay. There we go. Activate the part was all I needed to do. It's a little spiky thing. Okay, me and the camera are just always in a constant battle with each other. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see about the going sideways and dropping in water. I mean, surely... Time to touch down on easy survive. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that too much. Okay, so we seem to be going to water, but it's a matter of whether the drag is gonna hurt us or whether we get some lift. We'll see. Uh, I don't like this view. I want to be behind the rocket. Uh, come on, let me get... No! Uh, it looks like we're going to be in water, but we're going down pretty fast right now. Oh, what if it burns up and explodes? <laughs> I didn't think about that too much. No, I didn't think about that at all. Uh, don't explode, please. Okay. If it exploded, then we wouldn't be falling in water, right? Uh, the camera just... Oh, this isn't gonna glide much. It's just gonna plunge down to its death. Uh, which is fine. We don't need to glide. Bling. Okay, we completed the contract, wet rockets, and probably other contracts, too. I want to make sure it pays us for all that. Okay, good. Going sideways. Money awarded 170,000. Okay, we're rolling in cash now. No active jobs. Please. Light speed. Please, just let me go to orbit. <laughs> 500 kilometers away. And faster than one kilometer per second. Well, we've done that. But, okay. Fine. We have 75 tech points. I don't intend to use all the tech I'm unlocking, but I might as well unlock it now. I'm just gonna go ahead and clear. Uh, I don't need to stretch some blocks, probably. Yeah, okay. Uh, that'll make me feel a little bit better. I don't think we need to change this rocket in order to fulfill the contract. I don't know if the payload costs money or anything. Maybe the payload is expensive, though. No, the price seems to be 14000 even without the payload. So, the payload did not... Con oh, the payload... Ah, uh, the there's no payload part anymore. Okay. So we might as well make this smaller now. Changing back to this format. Strap a druid to the side. Oh, the druids are pretty big, actually. Power cycle amateur. We're still on amateur. Fuel grain basic is also... We're limited to. So we can't change the nozzle, fuel grain, power cycle, or anything like that. But we have liquid engines. But we, weren't, we aren't going to do that. We aren't going to do that yet. Still under one ton. I don't think this will get to orbit. But it should do the trick. So let's see. So we've basically determined that... Oh, it's got a little icon for where we splashed down there. That the trajectory we did last time was pretty good. I don't get a sense of how far 500... Uh, let's see, if I click on this... We have information about our little world here. Yeah, I don't know exactly how big it is. Alright, well, we'll just run with it and see how it goes. So, 500 kilometers away. What happened is there was a speed requirement. One kilometer per second, but it's not listed that. Okay, well, 80 kilometers is our height that we're going for. So, launch. That's a long build-up time. Okay. And... staging.
We don't need to go too much higher right now. Trajectory seems right. And I'm just gonna go horizontal now. Oh, if it'll let me. No, we have a lot of horizontal speed. We'll go further than last time. But I don't know whether it's far enough. We completed light speed, so at least we got one contract done. We have reached 100 kilometers, so that's 100 kilometers. Seems like we'll make it. I mean, if that's 100 kilometers... Uh, maybe that's 200, 300-ish, 400, maybe just barely. 400 kilometers? Can we sort of glide for another 100 here? Cutting these all close intentionally. I, I'm trying not to over overdo things. I mean, obviously I could have uh, built a bigger rocket with all the funds that we had, or break down, uh, we could have broken out the Carolox. But for the sake of suspense, <laughs> Trying to just barely make it. Oh, this is going. I didn't want you to go sideways. This is very important. No sideways. You're gonna get too much drag if you go sideways, right? Okay. All right. So that should work. Please give me an orbital contract. Ah, oh, We had too much heat damage. And so it doesn't count. No, come on. Is there a little part left, please? <laughs> no? It says Apoaps is here. There must be something. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait until that goes to zero and maybe... Okay. I, I don't think it counted. It still says 23 kilometers above ground level on the bottom. Even though something smacked into the water just now. I guess this camera smacking into the water doesn't count. Okay, well, we went too hot. So... What do we do about that? Maybe we need more lift. Maybe we should turn it into a flying thing. Then it wouldn't come down quite as quickly. Uh, well, I'm gonna save flight, because we did finish a contract anyway. And anyway, we probably need a more fundamental change to this. I think the answer is we're going to try and get more lift, because we don't have heat shields. Yeah, we could probably unlock them, but for now we don't have heat shields, so... I am going to... give it more wing. And make sure that that doesn't cause too much aerodynamic issue. We're going to put more wing down here, too. And maybe that will help it to glide and avoid too much heating. Maybe. It's a theory. Now, we've made the whole thing heavier. We could just have a little probe at the end, though. But then... How it would survive, I don't know. It'd still probably get a lot of heating. I think this is probably the best idea. Uh, we've reduced our delta V. I guess we'll rely on the gliding to help with covering the extra ground that we would have lost with the delta V loss. Anyway, again, we have extra money to allow us to experiment with things. Um, let me take a look at the career to see if there's anything else. Drew Orbit. Oh, screw that. <laughs> um, let's just, let's just go for Orbit then. Yeah, I mean, but then we won't survive Orbit though. <laughs> it, it doesn't actually say that we need to survive and come back. There's this light speed one, two kilometers per second. We'll, we'll try that. We'll hold off on orbit for a sec. We will try and get 
Lightspeed, that's a lot of money, 320,000. Okay, so... Let's try that with this. Launch. I'm gonna try going a little bit more easterly. Oh, oh no, it's got, oh no, oh no, it's gone on a whack. Okay, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, more easterly, I said. Okay, come on. Okay, staging. Well, we're probably not gonna get fast enough with all that loss. Or high enough, probably. Maybe I'll just go for the speed here. But it requires 80 kilometers altitude as well, I think. I can't pitch up more than this right now. Probably these fins were overdoing it, and that unbalanced the whole thing. Uh, I don't think we're accomplishing anything here, so I'm just going to quickly destruct it. With the core. Um, I'll save flight, we'll take that loss. And uh, I think I'll reduce the size of the fins at the top of it. It's a little bit hard because it snaps like this. Uh, this probably may be a setting to determine how much it snaps, but I guess I'll leave that for later. Let's make them even more wing-like and just extend these out more. Be decisive about it. Okay, let's try that instead. Okay, so nap ball and launch. This time I'll be more gentle about how I steer it too. I was a little bit overly ambitious last time. Oh no, I, I think I ended up overly really ambitious there too. Okay, no, 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 no. Stabilize, please. Oh, why, why? It's, it's, it, you were close to stable there. Honestly. Okay. Maybe I should just keep the stabilization system off. It's less stable than I am. It's probably all right now, though, maybe. Hey, okay, last a little bit. Will it be 2000? I don't think so. just barely above 80 kilometers as well. We may need more rocket here. But the wiggling didn't help. Let's see if we get some glide out of it. And whether that saves us. Well, we're not covering much ground right now. So I don't think we're going to get enough just by gliding. But we'll see. But another issue is whether we're going to save ourselves from too much heating by gliding. Still getting to water here, just not very far. 
All right, any boost glide here? We seem to be aimed at that one island right there. I don't know what they did to us. Uh, I can't pull up. No, I'm trying to take off the stabilization and see if I can pull up. Uh, no, but we're not falling that shy out of it. Um, if we hadn't gone wobbly, it might have made it. Okay, well... Interesting. Oh, and it floats. Can we recover this? <laughs> In flight. Recover craft. Recovery costs 5,000. Oh, just on principle. Uh, oh, I guess it, they just want us to destroy craft. Okay. So, just a little bit of improvement might be good. But maybe I should just go ahead and go to orbit. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't require us to come back, so... But maybe I should leave that for the next episode. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it here, and we'll figure out what to do about this in the next episode. We've gotten close, but we haven't quite made it on those. I'll pick up the orbital contract, and we will see how we manage these in the next video. So with that, Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will see you next time.